Today we're taking a look at uHodler, the one-stop crypto platform, and that's coming up right after this. So today we're taking a look at the uHodler platform for those of you wanting to change platform or get started in cryptocurrency. Before we get started though, like the video if you're interested in crypto and let me know in the comments what your favorite crypto coin currently is and if you haven't already then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So full disclosure, this video is sponsored by uHodler and they've asked me to showcase the platform to you guys. So cryptocurrency is becoming more and more popular, we've got so many coins and platforms available that it can be confusing for new users to know just where to start. Now uHodler's platform is a Swiss company that aims to bring as much versatility as possible and they're providing a centralized crypto platform and it's going to allow you to buy, sell, margin trade and even take crypto back loans from their platform. They also offer savings account using stable crypto and these offer high interest rates which is great at a time when normal bank accounts are offering very low interest. Once you're signed up, you'll need to verify your ID and address and this will give you access to all of the uHodler utilities and after that everything is nice and easy to navigate. So to start with, we've got the savings. With the uHodler platform, when you purchase crypto, you can earn up to 12.3% interest in a year and this is off your crypto. At a time where bank interest rates are so low, it's not a bad incentive at all. Now the interest rates vary depending on the crypto, but as you can see, we've got lots Lots of options. We've got things like USDT, TUSD, and USDP, and these are all at 12%, whereas your other coins, such as Bitcoin, are sitting at 4.8%. If you're planning on buying and holding the crypto, then the system makes it incredibly easy. We can deposit crypto by sending it from any other wallet if you already hold it. And if you just want to purchase crypto, we've got the buy crypto option at the top of the page. If we click that, we can choose our currency of choice. So if for instance, I want to purchase some Litecoin, I can click the Litecoin. I enter the amount that I want to spend in US dollars and it's going to tell me the approximate amount of Litecoin I'll receive. If I click the checkbox and agree with the terms, I then just input my LTC wallet address and that address is already at the top of the page and then there's also this copy button so I can click that to copy it and then just paste it in the box. Now if I click continue it then redirects me to where I can complete this transaction and then I've got my new crypto. Now once we hold the crypto we can also exchange it for whatever we want from this page and things become a lot easier. Now the next option we've got from you hodler is their tool which is called multi hodl. Now multi hodl is essentially a margin trading tool that allows you to trade the volatility of a cryptocurrency with additional leverage. For those of you that are new to crypto I would advise learning first before multi hodling as it is high risk but the great thing about you hodler is that they do also provide demo credits and this lets you practice on this before you invest your real assets. So let's give it a go now if I want to multi hodl I click multi hodl on the left hand side and then I've got a list of all the coins. Now I'm going to head into portfolio and click start new multi hodl. So I'm using YBTC coin here and these are the demo credits. So I'm going to select up and then we can then set our parameters. Now the amount I'm going to choose is 0.5 and if we click the drop down we can set a take profit stop at the top or a stop loss at the bottom and this is going to automatically end that multi hodl when we hit these parameters. So this means you can set them, go away and you know that the trade is not going to go above or below these values. Now as you type them in it's also going to show you on the graph above where they do sit in the list and you can see as I change my take profit the line above goes up and down. Now when using multi hodl it's a short term trade so it's best to change the graph to candlestick and I would advise looking at the minute or the 5 minute graphs. So I'm all set here and I'm ready to start my multi hodl. I click agree on the checkbox and then press start. I can see my new multi hodl on this screen here and then I can click it to see more information including the graph we looked at earlier but if I skip the video a couple of minutes forward we'll see where we're at. So as you can see it's positive, it's gone up as I predicted and I can close this multi hodl and get my coins. Now on this page it lists out the profit as you can see here and there's also a rollover fee that as you can see here is listed as every 5 hours. Now this is just the trading fee part and it's the reason why multi hodl is for the short term as you're going to get charged this every 5 hours with this coin. But you can see from this multi hodl here I've made 0.018126 profit and this was just in a few 
few minutes. If this was done with a real Bitcoin transaction, then that would have been $790 profit, but also it would have been a huge stake of capital at risk. Next up, we've got the loans function. And what's interesting about uHodler is they also provide loans and they use your cryptocurrency as the collateral. So the benefit to this is if you're holding large amounts of cryptocurrency and you then need access to cash, instead of having to sell all your current investments just to get some cash, you use it as collateral and then take your loan in something like US dollars. When the loan is fully repaid, then your crypto is returned. Now you can set the duration of the loan as you can see here, and I'm leveraging my YBTC for $40,000 but then that must be paid back within 30 days or another loan fee payment is required. Now you can also change the term and if I change it to 61 or 180 days with these options you can see the loan repayment is actually the same as the loan amount so if I pay them on time then I won't have to pay any extra charges. Next up, we've got the Turbo Charge, and this allows you to purchase crypto with borrowed funds. And again, you use your current crypto as collateral. If you think a market is going to rise, then you can use Turbo Charge to buy the new coin. And the platform will also keep repeating this as many times as you want it to. And you can then repay the loan when you're finished and receive all your coins. Now, this is for those occasions if you think a price increase is coming and you don't have the funds to purchase it, but you already have investment in coins that you don't want to sell, so you instead use use them as collateral. But all in all, it's great to have so many functions all built into one platform. We've got one-click exchanges available and a user-friendly website. It's also got a live chat function if you do ever get stuck. There's a 150 million insurance through their partnership with Ledger Vault, and the company behind you, Hodler, is a Swiss-based company. Now, for those that are into crypto, it's a great place to do everything at once. And for those getting started, it's a good place to learn. Now, hopefully I've explained everything well enough, especially for those of you that are new to cryptocurrency. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you're just getting started, then remember to invest responsibly and only invest what you can afford to lose. Now, of course, I've placed the link to you Hodler's website down in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out now. And if you've got any questions or any comments at all, then just leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.